Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Mal, back with another budgeting video. And today I actually have a special guest with me. She's going to be helping me out a little later in the video. You want to say hello? Hello. Alright, that is my little baby. She's going to help out um, when we get to one of the challenges. Um, first thing I actually want to go ahead and do... Um, I did want to do the challenges and the cash stuffing separately, but since this paycheck we're only stuffing one envelope, I wanted to go ahead and squeeze that in this video real quick. Um, so we're just going to be stuffing our grocery envelope for this week. I actually have two stacks of cash here. So this first one, no, actually we'll start, this one is um, everything we've put back in October and uh, the first paycheck of November for the um, cash envelope and penny challenges. I'm going to set that aside for a second. This one is for the challenges and for the grocery envelope. So let's see how much we have. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 320, 330, 340, 350, 355, 356, 57, 58, 59, 360. So... What I'm going to do first, I'm going to take 200 for the groceries. 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. Okay, Let's stick that in there. And that is everything for our grocery envelope for this month. So the next thing, um, usually on the second paycheck, I stuff my other envelopes here. Um, we have the furniture and appliances envelope. I usually put 100 in per month. Um, this time I actually did not take the money out. I left that in the account because I bought um, a headboard for my little girl's bed. So um, that ended up being 120. So I left in the 100 and deposited 20 more dollars. So <clears throat> I'm actually going to take 80. That is the change from what we deposited, and I'm going to put it back in here. So now in furniture and appliances, we are left with $180. And we'll keep saving that for the mattress and box springs and all that stuff. But I did go ahead, like I said, and get that headboard because it was on sale and we saved about $80 on it. Alright, so the rest of the money here, I have $30 for the penny challenge and the rest should be $50 for the envelope challenge. So, 30 40 45 50. And I'm going to stick that in with that first stack of cash we talked about. This is everything that we have been putting back for these challenges for the last, um, let's see, ever since October. So. All 
All right. So first thing we're going to do The quickest thing will probably be just to do this penny challenge first. So, um, I mentioned before that um, what I did, I do this by the month and not by the day on this, like on this chart. Um, I added up all of the amounts for each month and I wrote them down here. So we've already done January and February back in September. So for this month, uh, I'm actually going to do, let's see, well next I'm going to do March and April, and um, that is, let's see, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. So March and April is going to be a total of $55. So I took out, I am expecting a check from Rakuten for $25. So I took out 30 to match that, and when that $25 comes, then that will make up for all of March and April. And I also took out $50 for June. So going back to the envelope here, I'll put all of that together. So we should already have 18 for January and February. So it's 10. Let me zoom you back out. Alright, so there's 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. We'll add 30 for April and 50 for June. So now for the penny challenge, we have 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98 dollars. going to check all these off off camera I won't waste your time making you watch me do that so next is the envelope challenge uh, this is my little homemade tracker um, if you don't know what the envelope challenge is and um, some people do 50 some people do 100 but I'm doing 50 so basically all you do you get some envelopes. Each one is a different dollar amount, one through fifty. And each day or each week, each paycheck, however you decide to do it, you pick a number and you put that in your envelope. So all the squares that are colored in here, those are the ones that I've already filled. So um, those are ones that I I sealed those up as I put them in so I'm not tempted to go into them. And what I have written here is a list of all the amounts that have not been filled. Um, so I thought what might be a fun thing to do instead of just going in order and as a way to kind of interact with you guys I thought I might go ahead and cut those out and maybe each time we do this we'll just pick a random number out of a bowl so every time we fill an envelope it will be a surprise and where you guys come in you can comment down below and guess which number or which amount you think 
will come next week. Or the next time we pull, however we do it. So, um, I did want to do this in front of you guys, so no one thinks I'm cheating. All of these amounts match up to the tracker, and you can go back and rewind, pause, whatever you want to do, just to double check. So are any of you doing this challenge? Are you doing any other money savings challenges? You know, comment down below and let me know what you're doing and how it's going. If you've already reached your goal, since it's you know the middle of November, some of you may already be finished or if you're on track to finish by the end of the year. I mentioned in a video before that um, we started this back in January, but we got sidetracked with a lot of job changes and things like that and kind of stopped saving, so we're pretty much starting over. So I have an old little baby bowl here. I'm gonna fold up the papers and I'm just gonna stick them in there. And my helper here is going to shake up the bowl and she's going to draw the numbers for me. Isn't that right? You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, almost done. Like I said, I just wanted to do this in front of you guys so nobody thinks I'm cheating. You can see everything. So while I'm doing this, go ahead and make a couple of guesses. I think we are going to pull four numbers, um, one, so one for each paycheck in October and one for each paycheck in November, so that's four. So go ahead and take a couple of guesses and see what numbers you think we're going to pull. I'll go ahead and move this out of the way so you can see what's available. everything folded up. I'm going to put the top on. Okay, you want to reach over and shake the bowl? Mm -hmm. okay, reach over. Reach over here so everybody can see. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So don't look. Just reach in and pick one number. Pick one piece of paper. Got it? Mm hmm Okay. Let's see. All right. The first number is... Let's say it'll focus. 13. <laughs> All right. So let's take our money. 
So let's see how much we have here. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. 10, 20, and our first number was 13, so 1, 2, 3, and makes 13. All right. Okay. I'm gonna reach over and pick one more. Mm -hmm. All right. So this time, oh, we've got a big one. This one is 45. <laughs> Okay. All right, those first two numbers were for our October paychecks. So now we're moving on to the November amounts. Okay. You can pick one. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness. Okay, so 35. Twenty, thirty, and five. All right, last one. Okay. All right, our last number. Forty-nine, another big number. So we've got pretty much all big numbers except for one. So, but at least we get those out of the way. That's fine. There's twenty, thirty, forty, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. So the rest of this we'll put back for the next drawings. We'll grab our envelopes. Get in frame here. Alright, so our first one was 13. Are you bored? Are you sure? <laughs> okay. All right. So there's 13. Put it in the envelope. All Seal it up. And put it in the stack. All right. Next so it's 35. Next was forty five. Okay, 
45. Put that in. Seal it up. And our last number was 49. So 20, 30, 40, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Alright, so that's pretty good. We've got some big numbers out of the way. And we'll take our other numbers for the next drawing. And I'll just put it up until next time. So you guys go ahead and make your guesses what you think we're going to pull next time. I think we'll do, we'll try to do two numbers in the first paycheck in December. So guess two numbers that you think we are going to draw. And just to, just so you can see, I'm going to Go ahead and kind of fill in my tracker here so you can see what numbers we have to choose from. So tonight we did 13. Let's see, 40, no, let's see, 35. And I'll go back and fill those in neatly later. 45 and 49 okay so here's another quick look you can pause right here and see which numbers we have left for your guesses and I think that is about it. Um, the only thing that I'll do next, and I'll do this off camera, um, I have, I'm kind of doing the envelope challenge to save for my thousand dollar emergency fund. And I'm just filling in um, a different color for each month. So pink, and that is the amount that we save in January and February. Um, so, and each little square is $10. Um, so, we take a big break until September. So, all of this is what we saved in September. And then, um, off camera, I will fill in the amounts that we saved for October and November. Alright, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with us. Uh, we really appreciate it. Hope you guys give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button like and subscribe <laughs> so you heard the little one she said like and subscribe so you guys take care and i hope you have a great morning afternoon evening wherever you are and i'll see you next time bye, bye.